Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. It's time to talk. Description. Ma'am, can you please describe the perpetrator? Oh, officer, he was scary. Ma'am, could you please describe him? Oh, he was, he was mean. Ma'am, could you please describe, can you tell me what he was wearing, where, how tall he was? He was mean and big and a brute, just like you. <clears throat> was the attacker wearing the jeans? I fail to see how this matters. Was he wearing a t-shirt? Officer, what are you getting at? And could you just describe the, the attacker? Officer, I'm offended by that language. Could you please describe him so that we may get a visual picture? of who this man is so that we can apprehend him, please. I don't need to deal with this. I'm going by. Ma'am, you do want this to never happen again, right? Well, yes, I don't want other people being attacked by this guy either. It's icky. Yes, ma'am, I get that, but we still need to find this man. And if you describe him as scary and big and brutish, that would describe a good half of the men in this town. That doesn't narrow it down. Can we get some descriptors, please? What's a descriptor? Don't worry, ma'am. I'll find him. I know just what I'm looking for. Today we're going to talk about description, that itty bitty part of your manuscript that kind of sells it, really. Now, what is description? Let's consult the experts. <clears throat> oh, the new lexicon Webster's Encyclopedia Dictionary of the English Language this Canadian edition. Description. Hmm. Desk. Desist. Cease and desist. Description. Now, a verbal account or portrayal of a person, scene, event, etc. A technical account. Definition. Here's another. Britannica World Language Edition of the Funk and Wagnalls Standard Dictionary. Oops. The act of describing, portrayal, or explanation, a drawing or tracing. Another one. Merriam Webster's Collegiate Dictionary, 10th edition. Getting a little old. Kind of like me. An act of describing, specifically, discourse intended to give a mental image of something experienced. The Reader's Digest Great Encyclopedic Dictionary, Volume 1. Description, here we are. Describing verbal portrait or portraiture of person, object, or event. And last but not least, my favorite, a dictionary of literary devices, translated from Bernard Dupriez, or Dupriez, whoever you say it, I'm not totally sure on that. You can fix me in the comments. 
Description External representation of a place, an object, an action, or a person. So that pretty much covers it. How do we define def uh, description? Some people don't know, but now you do. And I'm glad for that. Because if you're here and you're watching this video, then you have either an obsession with me. Thank you, but I'm married already. Or you are a writer and you like to write descriptive passages, but you're just quite unsure how to do it right. How much should you throw in there? How much should you not throw in there? How do you do it properly to get the right mood and stuff? Well, we'll go over that. Description. A very important part of our narrative. Maybe that's a bad word to use these days. Description is a very important part of the things we write. We need to get it right so that if we mess up, we're not beating ourselves over the head two days later because some guy misinterpreted it. What we need to do is figure out where the descriptions, the most meaningful descriptions lie so that we can actually entertain our audience. That being said, the story is your vehicle. The story is what gets your point, your message out to the reader who wants to, to be entertained. First things first though, I just want to put in a disclaimer. I'm not an expert, okay? But I do know what I'm talking about. And I hope that through this medium, we're able to share in that discussion. And if you have any uh, differences of opinion or objective facts to reprove me, great. I want to hear about them in the comments. So, when we are talking about description for your story, one thing we really need to do is focus on its meaning. How meaningful is it to the story? We, as beginning writers, tend to be a little bit naive in, in thinking that we can describe everything right down to the last detail and it will be all perfect. But that can be a little tedious for your reader. We don't want to know about how many hairs are on your character's head. We don't need to know what they do when they get up in the morning. We're assuming they get dressed. We're assuming they brush their teeth if you're writing a, a contemporary thriller. We're assuming that they use the bathroom if you're writing a, a medieval fantasy. We don't need to see all that, right? We need to focus on what's meaningful to the story. What carries it along? In, the, in doing that, I personally have found that there are several tips that could be incredibly useful, not just to a, a fiction writer like me, but to anyone, to anyone writing in any genre, even nonfiction. So thank you everyone for sticking with me this long. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Talk to you later.